what we will do we'll test the drs now just to just to reiterate the current lab setup what we have okay i have three hosts one two three these three and i have around nine virtual machines nine virtual machines and three data stores shared data stores i'm talking about sand sand storage so go to cluster and data stores you have three local forget about them and three sand okay three sand data stores now i want to identify which all vms that are running on local and that are running on sand okay how to do that go to storage tab and vm1 is running on local storage one let's get that into sand storage okay we need to bring that to sand storage that is first thing second thing six the third third one seven these are the three vms which are running in my local storage okay so the what are the prerequisites just to reiterate once again the prerequisites are for drs testing if drs all let's say rules plus v motion kernel port okay agree now tell me the h rules what are the h rules that are you need vc right you need to create a cluster shared storage so finally go for network right these are the things that we need mandatorily now now ha is already tested means all the all these rules are satisfied and vmotion kernel port we have enabled yesterday yesterday we are unable to test it because the storage is not visible even today also the, we got the same problem that is reason why i have rebooted the entire lab again now the lab is up and running we can do the testing so v motion is already enabled let's check to make sure okay go to configure kernel adapters one v motion is there and four other kernel ports on this host let's see there are a lot of lot of services are there but v motion is enabled here the uh, same on each host it's same on each host v motion is enabled and the ip is 23 223 222 and 221 fine okay now now my question is do we have all these nine machines or on a shared storage or on a local storage okay i'll put it on red or uh, let, let me put it on in different color yeah i have one local storage here i have one vm in local on this host also one vm in local on this host also one vm is running on local on this host vm1 on this host vm6 on this host vm7 are running in my local storage that is what we identified right so now virtual machines are up and running without any downtime i want to migrate this vm from this storage to this storage understood okay yes, if sir. i want to migrate virtual machine from one storage to another storage you call it as SV motion storage V motion. How to do that? Let's see quickly. Select the virtual machine which you want to migrate. It is now in local. L look at it is now in local. Right click, migrate, storage only. Okay, select storage only. You want to change the storage, not the host. Next, select the storage where you want to migrate. I'll migrate it onto LAN 20. Fine. Finish. Go to recent task. See, machine is relocating and it is now migrated to 
plan 20 without any downtime if you want this machine doesn't have any ip assigned let me go to second host okay let me go to vm6 vm6 is now running on local right okay let's take the console let's take the remote console and i will assign the ip do the sv motion it should work without any doubt control panel work what is the vlan what is the vlan for these vms 192 168 VLAN 40. Okay. 40 dot 40. Okay. And 1. Okay. Now come out and minimize this. Ping 192, 168, 40.40. It's working, right? The ping is continuously working. This machine. Now this machine is running on which storage? VM6 is running on local storage. Now let me migrate storage only. I'll put it on 30. Fetch. You see, Sto machine is moving, but you see, no downtime, nothing. Machine is already relocated from one storage to another storage. Okay, now you see machine is running on SAM storage, which is LAN 30, but server is up and running. There is no interruption. Understood? So, migrating machine from one host to another host, what you call it as? Quickly. Vivek. Emotion. Sorry. Huh? Emotion. Emotion. Migrating virtual machine from one data store to another data store. It's V motion. It's SV motion. Okay. Is there any downtime in both the cases? No. No. Okay. Now, now there is another option. Migrate both. Okay. Migrate both. <laughs> Select the host where you want to migrate. VM6. Next. Select the data store. VLAN 40. Set. Finish. So it is migrating both virtual machine and virtual machine from host to host and storage to storage, both at a time. You see, there is a little downtime. Earlier, it, this option is not not there and 6.0, 5.5, what I have worked upon. You need to bring the virtual machine down if you want to do the both the things at a time. If you want to do both the things, means, please be on mute. Okay, if you want to migrate virtual machine from one host to another host, at the same time, one store to another storage, at the same time, at the same time, you want to do the task, then you need a downtime. But in 6.7, that is eliminated. A fraction of ping timeout, then you can relocate. Okay, everything is everything is online. There is no downtime. So V motion, majorly, majorly V motion will be used to avoid downtime and moving resources here and there within the cluster or within the within the uh storage within the host there are multiple data stores are there so you can migrate here and there right now now let's go back to now let's go back to our discussion is on drs now vmotion is up and running ha is configured properly all the options are satisfied and i can even tested 
migrating VMs from one data store to another data store and migrating VMs from one host to another host. Both I have tested. Okay. VMware DRS is all about moving virtual machine automatically from one host to another host, one host to another host. That's it, not the storage. Okay, if you want to automatically load balance the storage, then you have to configure SDRS, Storage Distributed Resource Scheduling or Resource Scheduler. That we will do it tomorrow. In, in this session, what we will do is, we'll test how DRS will work. Fine, any questions up to this? Okay, so what is DRS? I said, simple feature where it will optimize your resource utilization within the within the cluster means if this host is 90% used this is 10% used this is 50% used it will automatically migrate one small vm or a big vm based on the recommendation from here to here so that so that this this host utilization will increase to 50% and this host will utilization will decrease from 90 to 60 percent so this is running on 50 this is running on 50 this is running on 60 so everything is satisfied now you have load balanced all the resources across cluster that task can be achieved by drs understood you getting any any background noise or something not now now I'm getting some. Yeah. Like, uh... Just a moment. I'll, I'll, I'll close the door. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now? Clear? Yes. No clear. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So DRS, DRS will help you to load balance the resources in multiple ways. Okay. In multiple ways. They basically, there are three ways to do the. There are three ways to do the load balancing. to do okay still it is speaking okay okay fully automated drs partially automated DRS, manual DRS. There are three options. Okay, let's understand when this DRS will come into picture. Now imagine I have nine VMs. When the DRS will run, I said high availability is 24 by 7 it will send a heartbeat to master in high availability heartbeat will be heartbeat will be send it to master 24 by 7 if the heartbeat is missing for a specific duration then master will come into picture and do the restart that is what we discussed in HA now in DRS when the DRS will come into picture and when it will work DRS will come into picture in two situations. Okay, in two situations. One is, one is when you power on any VM. First option is when you power on any virtual machine within the cluster. There is a virtual machine which is powered off currently. 
the moment you power on drs will run okay otherwise otherwise the second situation is every five minutes every five minutes it will do the calculation okay we need to test both the situations understood hello yes okay now what i will do what i will do fully automated drs fully automated drs how to set go to your v center go to cluster go to cluster let me minimize this okay yeah go to cluster configure drs drs if you look at edit settings drs is enabled automation level fully automated partially automated manual drs that is what i have written there drs okay and migration threshold you want to run the drs more aggressively whenever it will observe a small change small difference it will start migrating or liberal or conservative leisurely lazily you want to run more proactively or least proactively it's up to you what i will do i'll put some aggressive because i am running a small small vms calculation is a bit difficult so if i say more aggressive if there is a little change in the performance a little change in the resource utilization it is trying to calculate and do the migration understood okay yes done now it is set to fully automated drs when the drs will come into picture whenever you power on any virtual machine power on whenever you power on any virtual machine how simply we, we can test this let me do one thing let me go to cluster be on mute be on mute let me go to cluster and i will power off all the vms okay i will power off all the vms let me add a couple of columns here on which host it is running that's it at least i need this right okay now sort by host three four vms running on four vms running on host one two vms running on host two three vms running on running on host three now let's understand all the vms are running no 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 see we forget one thing one, 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 one machine is running on local storage let me migrate that to sand storage you see otherwise otherwise it's difficult that machine will not come into picture that machine will not come into picture for calculation i'm saying right so let's go to cluster now all the machines look at the machines three three on one host and two on other host four on four machines on another host what is the first condition first condition is sorry what is the first situation when when you power on any virtual machine let me select all the machines all the machine and migrate it's a machines are machines are powered off now currently machines are powered off this is not the v motion just you are re-registering the vms from one host to another host when the machines are powered off you don't call that as a v motion just simply change the compute resources and i want to put this one man Zero two. I want to put this on zero two. Next, okay. Put the VMs in respective VLANs. It's okay. Fine. Finish. If you look at, if you look at, it is relocating, re-registering all the VMs. Fine. So now you see all the host. Uh, no, 
now showing as 0 to means all the 9 VMs, all the 9 VMs running on, all the 9 VMs running on host 2. Actually, not running, they registered on host 2. Okay, now if you power on, what happens? DRS will run and it will do automatic load balancing. Fully in fully automated load balancing will be done automatically when you power on. If I right click, power on, you see machines will be restarted in different different host. Refresh. Done. All the machines are rebooted. Now you see sort by host. In one host, three machines. Another host three machines another host three machines randomly you don't have any control they will automatically reboot or they will automatically not reboot power on in in load balanced way you see the load balancing is done automatically you did anything nothing simply enable fully automated drs power on machine will decide where to go and start Understood this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, this is in fully automated. Everything is A means automatic, M means manual. In fully automated situation, okay. Uh, when 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 you power on virtual machine, machines will be load balanced automatically. Agree on this point? That is what we tested now, right? Now, there is no new VMs. You created a virtual machine last to last week. Now, you don't have any new VMs. Every virtual machine which is running on the cluster, they are already powered on. Powered on. Long back. Few machines one year back, few machines yesterday, few, ma few machines day before yesterday. Doesn't matter. Okay? All the machines are powered on. Now, still in every five minutes drs will run every five minutes drs will run right so how to test that simply you have you have all the vms running on a different different host so let me select all of them and again migrate this time it's a vmotion not the re-registering if a machine is powered off you are moving here and there then that is called re-registering the VM. Okay, if a machine is powered on, you are moving the VMs from one host to another host here and there, then that is called as vMotion. Now I am doing a manual vMotion. Select, I will change compute resources. Now I will put everything into one host, host 01. I'll put all the machines in host 01. Machines are now migrating. Everything will be on 01. I want to see everything on 01. See each and every machine. Now everything is on 01. Right? Host 2 and host 3. Both of them are underutilized. Host 1 is overutilized. Wait for 5 minutes. DRS will run and that will automatically move the machines. That is what we expected, right? All the machines are up and running, but one host is overloaded, another host is not up to the mark or not, not at all utilizing, sitting ideal, other two hosts are sitting ideal. Now DRS will run, it can calculate the utilizations and it will automatically move the machines. Let's see. Now, when you relocate the machine, it is showing as vSphere.local administrator has done this task. Okay, now what I will do, if I want, I can wait for five minutes, then it will automatically migrate the VMs. System will automatically migrate the VMs. Or else, you can run, you can initiate manual DRS at any point of time. How to? Go to monitor, go to cluster and monitor. Monitor vSphere DRS recommendations. Okay, if you go to recommend vSphere DRS and recommendation, run DRS now. 
you just click on it and watch this refresh recommendations and go to VMs see mission 6 is now migrating the rest of the machines are in queue see who is doing initiatory system you are not doing anything system is doing for you You are not doing anything system is doing for you so it, it, it migrated a couple of machines let's see just refresh now you see sort four machines running on one host three machines running on another host two machines running on another host based on the recommendation it it did it in the sense drs calculated the current utilization and drs decided that one host is running with nine VMs, another two hosts are running with zero VMs. So let me move three VMs from host one to host two, and two VMs from host one to host three to load balance. So everything is done by system itself. What I did, I should I don't want to wait for five minutes for the simple test. So I came here and run a DRS. So it will calculate and do the stuff automatically. Otherwise. Otherwise, even if you don't click on here, it will run every five minutes. Clear on this concept or you have any questions? Yes, no doubts. Uh, this one is uh, partially uh, uh, automated. No partial, fully automated. Okay. It's fully automated, boss. Second condition, it is also automatic. During fully automated DRS, whenever you power on the machine, whenever you power on the machine, it will check and load balance by themselves. Okay. And also every five minutes DRS will run and and it will do the load balancing automatically. You don't need to worry. System will check okay. and do the load balancing. Means system will check and if if it is if it is finding any uh, resource utilization mismatch, host one is high utilized, host two is low utilized, and host three is low utilized, then it will automatically migrate. But I cannot wait for five minutes. That is the reason why I have run it manually otherwise you can you can simply okay. sit and watch it it will automatically do it after every five minutes understood okay in fully automated drs both the operations in both the situations system will do everything automatic now now let's me sorry let me let me go back and set this to partially automated go to cluster configure drs edit set to partially automated okay done that's it you haven't changed anything else reconfigure the cluster partially automated drs in partially automated drs in partially automated drs let's see first condition first situation First situation, power off all the VMs again. Okay. Just power off all the VMs and move all the VMs onto host 3. Okay. Now all the VMs are on host 3. Why I am doing this manually because I want to simulate the lab real time. You don't need to do all these things. Just create a VMs system will take care of everything. Right? Just for our testing purpose, I'm just recreating the examples. Now you imagine you have some virtual machines. Everything is registered on host three. Now you simply power on simply power on in partial automation okay 
part in partially automated DRS or on now you see three 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 load balanced again understood okay in partially automated again when you power on when you power on virtual machine it is automatically doing the load balance task I mean, what is the difference between these two then no there is no difference it is as it is fully automated or partially automated doesn't matter when you power on the machine system will take care of everything okay now let's test the every five minutes so i'll put everything live machines onto zero three again back to zero three okay now i'll put everything on to zero three now it is migrating the vms If you look at just refresh if you look at all the all the virtual machines are now running on running they are not powered off they are power on okay state power on on host 3 now now we have to wait for five minutes and see or if you don't want to wait for five minutes again go to cluster monitor drs recommendations run drs now okay if you run DRS, okay, let's see what happens. Even if you run a DRS or even after five minutes, system will not do anything. Okay, even if you wait for some more time, it will not do anything. What you have to do, you have to go back to monitor once again and DRS recommendations. You see some of the recommendations are popped up here system is doing some calculation on the back end and it is recommending you saying boss i have done this calculation currently currently all the machines are running on host 3 so just to balance the average cpu utilization on host 3 with respect to other two hosts i want to migrate i want to migrate these machines on a priority means this machine to host two, this machine host one, this machine host two, this machine host one. Like this, I want to migrate these six VMs. You want to migrate? Yes or no? Then you have to manually click on it. Apply recommendations. Then only it will go and do the migration. Preparing virtual machine for live migrating source host. this it will migrate if you go back to virtual machines tab and see three 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 it, it done the load balancing but but it will not do automatically you have to you have to specify here apply recommendations means means it will do calculation at every five minutes and it will show the result here Whenever you feel like, yeah, today, let's see what is the utilization. Okay. So some of the recommendations are showing here. In the morning, you come and check if it is a smaller VM, if it is a big VM, or if it is a genuinely, there is a, some issue and DRS is not, not running and you can run manual DRS here. Okay. In second situation, during the partial automated, whenever you power on, system will do automatic load balancing and during the every five minutes situation it is like manual you understood this concept drs will run every five minutes drs will run but it will not take any action unless until you go and click it every five minutes it will calculate every five minutes it will calculate and show the results over there okay but it will not do any migration 
unless you approve it then last scenario let's test the manual drs how to test this go to the center go to cluster configure drs automation manual drs okay set to manual drs now go to virtual machines and select all the machines and power off select all the machines and power off everything is powered off now move every machine onto one host i'll put it everything in host one see everything is on host one so what i will do i will power on first situation i will power on it will give some pop-up saying these are the power on recommendations okay place vm2 on host 1 vm1 on host 3 4 on 2 on 1 3 1 2 3 like this it is doing all the load balancing for all the machines okay you have to follow this yes when you click ok then it will power on when you click cancel it will not power on okay right power on again it will give a recommendation when i say okay then only it will go ahead and load balance it means in manual automation sorry manual drs whenever you power on the task is manual you have to approve it otherwise it will not do the load balancing okay you see everything is on load balancing condition 3 3 and 3 let me migrate once again i'll put everything on to 3 okay relocate vm by so and so user wait see now everything is registered on 03 and all the vms are up and running on host 3 okay now go to monitor drs recommendations you can wait for five minutes or you can click and wait here once you click and wait it will automatically give you the recommendations once again was these are the recommendations you have to you have to take an action because one host is fully utilized another two hosts are sitting ideal so i want to do this to load balance are you going to approve it yes approve it apply recommendations then it will go and migrate it will go and migrate the machines and if you go to virtual machines you see it got load balanced again on host number three four vms are running on host number two two vms are running and host number one three vms are running this is how it will do the load balancing this is manual now you understood what is the difference between uh, three situations and uh, two situations and three different uh, automation levels yes. okay so how how it is how it is migrating you have a kernel port here it is connected to one switch you have another switch here with two kernel ports another cable and you have another switch here with two kernel, second kernel port it will go and all these are connected in one switch so this vm if this vm want to migrate from here to here it will communicate via this kernel port not a vm traffic host will communicate and it will register here then this vm will come here this is how it is working on the backend okay 
why we need a DRS and how it will work. You understood on the prerequisites what we have done yesterday. Yes. Clear? Any questions up to this on the DRS testing? Maybe. Vivek is there or he left? Hello, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, Vivek. Any questions? No. What, is, Got it. What, what, yeah. what exactly it is doing on the back end? Anyway, you are not going to do any of these tasks automatically. Okay. Sorry, any of these tasks, you will not you are not going to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. System will do it automatically. Yes. Okay. So uh, if in uh, in our environment, I have one question. Hello. If in our environment we have some critical uh, uh, VMs, then uh, we can enable DRS uh, in a manual way, and we can check for the recommendations, and we can ask the uh, client that it is uh, okay to move uh, the VM manually. So in a critical environment, we we will use manual. Let me give you a question. Critical environment. Okay, I have one critical SQL server. Critical SQL server running on 2012. Okay, customer is customer is asking for for cluster. So what I did, I have created two VMs, two virtual machines. Okay, VM one, VM two. And you can configure Windows failover cluster on top of it. You know how to configure Windows failover cluster? And yes. SQL is installed on top of it. Now, this virtual machine, both the virtual machines are running on one ESXA host. Possible or not? Yes. Okay. Now, Due to HA or maybe HA is configured. Sorry, my bad. HA is configured. Due to some problem, host went offline. Host went offline. Now your primary database server and your secondary database server both are down. Then what is the point of creating a cluster, installing it on a cluster, and uh, conforming to the customer saying you are, you, your uh, database server is uh, zero downtime now because you have two servers running in the back end. But actually, if those two servers are running on one host, the host got down. Then how we will handle this kind of situation? Okay, the only, the only question customer will ask, why I should pay for two servers if the, both the servers are going on, offline at a time? Which shouldn't happen. For that reason only, I am paying for two servers. Otherwise, I am fine with one server. You gave me two servers. Every month, I am paying double bill. And now you are saying that the, both the VMs are down at a time. How it will happen? This is the problem. Is the solution think of it tomorrow we will discuss about how to resolve these kind of issues tomorrow Understood? yes you got the query and the problem yeah i got it okay think of it we will discuss tomorrow let me stop the recording here we'll catch up tomorrow again same time okay.